In this video, you will learn how to solve this nice Olympiad exam question. We are asked to solve for X. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel for more simplified mathematics solutions. Now, let's get started. To solve this question, the first thing we think of doing is to take the cube root of both sides. If we take the cube, if we take the cube of both sides, we are going to simply solve this. So, what do we have? If we are already given the cube root of 2 to the power of x minus 4 equal to 16, all we need to do is to take the cube of both sides. And that cube, the reason why we are doing that is to clear the cube root. So if we take the cube of both sides, we are going to have that expression to now give us 2 to the power of x minus 4 all to the power of 3 equal to 16 to the power of 3. So this will clear this and then we'll have our 2 to the power of x minus 4 to be equal to 16 to the power of 3. Now if we have 16 to the power of 3, I want you to note that 16 can be equal to 2 to the power of 4, right? So we can have that expression to now give us 2 to the power of x minus 4 to be equal to 2 to the power of 4 all multiplied by 3. Great. So having seen that, the next thing we need to do is to multiply this expression. Recall an algebraic expression. If you have ax multiplied by y this can be equal to a to the power of x what y so that expression will give us 2 to the power of x minus 4 to be equal to 2 to the power of 4 times 3 which is what 12. so we have the same base common base and when you have a to the power of x to equate a to the power of y then our x can be equal to y. So if we have same base, that can simply give us, that can simply make that expression to now be equal to x minus 4 equal to 12. Yes, the exponent to equate. So if we add 4 to both sides, we'll have x minus 4 plus 4 to be equal to 12 plus so this will go with this, and what do we have remaining? We'll have our x to be equal to 16. So x equal to 16 is the solution to that exponential equation. Now let's check to see if our solution is correct. Now recall from the original expression, we are told that our cube root of 2 to the power of x minus 4 is equal to 16. So if we insert our value of x equal to 16, is it going to give us that expression? We have the cube root of 2 to the power of x minus 4. Will it give us 16? Now let's check out that we have our x to be equal to 16. So that will give us the cube root of 2 to the power of 16 minus 4. And 2 to the power of 16 minus 4. 16 minus 4, that will give us the cube root of 2 to the power of 12. Now, 2 to the power of 12, recall an algebraic expression that if you have the nth root of a, the nth root of a can be equal to a to the power of 1 divided by n, right? So that expression can now give us, uh, can now become 2 to the power of 12 multiplied by 1 divided by 3. Now from another algebraic expression, if we have a to the power of x multiplied by y, this can be equal to a to the power of x, what? Y. That expression will now give us 2 to the power of 12 multiplied by 1 divided by 3. So 3 here 1, 3 will give us 4. So the whole of that expression will now give us 2 to the power of 4. And 2 to the power of 4 is equal to 
16. So you see that 16 on the left hand side is equal to 16 on the right hand side. So what does that tell us? That tells us that our x equal to 16 is the solution that truly satisfies that exponential equation that is given to us. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel for more simplified Olympiad mathematics solutions. Thanks so much for watching and bye-bye for now.